Hey guys, we just made it to Paulista Avenue. This is uh, Paulista Avenue in Sao Paulo, which is a huge avenue that goes like really, really long. Uh, it kind of reminds me of Reforma Avenue in Mexico City. This is their version of Reforma Avenue. How long do you think this Paulista Avenue goes up? It's gotta be more than that. At least, yeah, at least 10 blocks by. I think it's more than that. It's like Reforma Avenue in Mexico City. Got a couple of cops over there. Yeah. But like Paul used to have you super super long though. Yeah. Right? Cause like we can actually walk up this way after like So we gotta walk up that way? But well, I think Paul used to have you use this one over here. So we should walk straight, yeah, yeah. So we should walk in and then walk straight this way. But like that's where like the it's like an affluent avenue, right? That's where all the hotels and everything are at. Yeah, so Paulista Avenue is like an affluent avenue. That's where all the shopping, hotels, they have a couple of shopping malls here, restaurants. It's all centered around this Paulista Avenue. This park goes down here. It goes all the way down. Bike rentals. Dude, you don't know how to ride bikes, right? Yeah, I'm fucking riding bikes here. Like, oh, but they closed off the whole street though. So yeah, that's what I'm saying. They closed off the street so we could just have biked it up. Yo, so this over here is probably the Avenue. Oh, oh, is this a bike lane? Yeah. Wait, so is that probably the Avenue? Oh no, this is Oswaldo Cruz. But like, um, you want to stick with Paulista, right? But over here, it looks like it's more funner to walk. Wait, over here. Which one looks more activity? Walk here. Oh, you want to do the infamous police thing? No, I'm, I'm asking. Oh, this is a bike lane, though. Yeah. yeah Alright, yeah, so you want to cross the street? But yeah, like, yeah, over there is a walk. You want to walk over there then? Yeah, let's walk over there. Alright, let's walk over there. So we're going to take a detour and walk as Wild well, Cruz, which is like parallel with uh, Paulista Avenue. Just because like the streets are closed off, so it's better for walking. We're not gonna get run over by people on bikes. This is called Oswaldo Cruz. And it's our like to cross. Yeah, so this this uh, goes in parallel with Paulista Avenue. And we're gonna walk it. I'm gonna be completely honest. Um, Looks a little more. I thought it'd be more posh, like the streets and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Right? Like just just looking at the streets, like my first impression is, it looks nice and stuff like that. But it kind of looks like it's. What's that word you call it? Like it looks kind of old. Yeah. Like the, the sidewalks look kind of old. I expect them to be like, cause it. I'm using like another city, Latin America, which is a major city, like Mexico yeah, City. Yeah, like if you're comparing this to like you know, Reforma Avenue, right? Right, like right. Reforma Avenue Reforma looks. Reforma is more far more like affluent. Oh, this is called Japan House. Do you have to pay the answer? You want to try to see if you want to pay the answer? You think it's free? Possibly, yeah. We're going to check to see if we can get inside. Entrada, there's an entry gratuity. I guess, what is that, voluntarily? Hola. All right, so it's free entry to Japan House. You're allowed to use the camera if it's not for commercial purposes. Hola. So it's free entry, that's pretty sweet. This place is called the Japan House. It's like some kind of Japanese cultural center, like the Japanese that came here in Brazil. It's quite a lot of Japanese looking people we see walking around too. There's two million, two million population here. I'm assuming this is all the fashion from like... This is all the fashion, yeah. Tokyo or something? Japanese fashion, I guess. 
is it mixed with like Brazilian? Like, it's called cultural center. Okay. Well, it's just like a little bit of Japanese culture park in Japan. Like I can't read any of this all in Portuguese, but May's talking about like when they came out here. Right? There's a bunch of like Japanese merchandise. Yeah. Hibeki. Namasaki whiskey, all that good stuff is a bookstore. Yeah. So immediately, like the walk out of a hotel, we already see the Japanese influence here. It's the second floor. Do you want to go to the second floor or are you good? Yeah, yeah, let's go. You want to check it out? Just a bunch of fashion items. Okay, we're just gonna do a quick tour around there, then we're gonna head back out to Pauly Stab and this it looks like uh, a lot of fashion items. You know, on the plane we're talking about like how much Japanese people love Japanese heritage here. There's like two million descent, two million, and then like we come here in the Afro Avenue, Police Avenue, we see all this Japanese type of uh, influence. <clears throat> what is this? A coffee shop up here? Yeah. Like outdoor coffee, if you want to oh, yeah. take pictures. Yeah. Check this out. Yeah. Unfortunately, we can't see the view from the street, though. Alright, so we'll There's a little restaurant over there. Alright, thank you. Alright, we're gonna head back out to Paul Gustav. So we're entering Casa de Rosas. It's like a cultural center here too. It looks like it's free as well. So, yeah. Some of these, yeah, it looks free. That's pretty uh, nice. They're offering some free things for people to look at. We could take some pictures. This is picture worthy. It's like a cultural center. It's got a cafe in there too. Um, check it out. Oh, so I guess. Oh, so that's what it means. And Entrada gratuita it means free admission in right. Portuguese. Free admission. Okay. What's your guys' name? Hola. Hi. I don't speak Portuguese. No camera? Bro over here got the same exact GoPro I have, a That's GoPro right. 10. Yeah, we're reporting, yeah we're GoPro, GoPro 10. GoPro. So like, we just went to a coffee shop and all they had was espressos. And um, if I drink an espresso at this time, I probably won't be able to sleep tonight. So like, lame ass Americans come to Brazil, we go to fucking Starbucks for coffee. Come on, can, can I do better? Oh, no, 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 what, what, what is that? Uh, Sorry, no Portuguese. No, 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 no Portuguese. No, 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 no Portuguese. No, 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 
Oh, she's showing us like the apartments for for. Oh, <laughs> oh okay. So yeah, no, no tengo, no, no, no tengo, tengo plata, we, no tengo we'll plata. Not, not too long, only yeah. a few days. Uh, uh, maybe cinco no dias. Dinero, dinero, yeah. 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 Next, next time, <laughs> no, next time we stay longer. We can. Okay. okay, great. Today I'm back here soon. Back here soon. Back here soon. That's you. Can I take a photo? This one. Where's Cooper? Oh. Okay, I'll take. Okay. Cinco decorados. Cinco. Okay. Cinco. Para você visitar lá, tem cinco casas para você ver. Ok. Cinco. Tem cinco, cinco decorados lá, tá bom? Ok. Ok. We, we have a phone number. If we, if we ever come back, I'll call with her. Okay. Muito okay. obrigada, viu? Deus abençoe. Yeah. Muito obrigada. Obrigada. Yeah. Obrigada. 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 I feel like you pick up on words faster than I do. Obrigada. I ain't got the tongue for this, man. Yo, hold on, hold on, I'm questioning myself. I come all the way to Sao Paulo to get Starbucks. Yo, but you have to, because otherwise you fall asleep. So two Lamo Americans and we went to uh, Starbucks to get coffee. Because uh, we tried a local um, Brazilian place, right? But like, she was only... Oh no no! Yeah. We're just uh, going yeah. to actually. We're, no, I was I was gonna record that. I went to like one of these. I was trying to get coffee, right? But like, okay. we went there. They only serve espressos, and if I had espresso at the time, I wasn't gonna be able to fall asleep. So then I was like, okay. She's like, there's a Starbucks up the block. So I was coming from the yeah. states. We're just like, we came to Brazil to drink Starbucks. Right, right. Yeah. yeah. Well, actually, like, ma'am. Yeah, my since family. I have family in have the family states, here? and they, they say like, I don't come we, have, we come here to we have come uh, to drink Starbucks. Pizza Hut. Like, <laughs> no, like yeah. What's what's a good coffee shop like? Or, a good. Or maybe Around like, here. or any coffee, right? Any inside coffee? that uh, that hospital, inside. Okay. But you don't. Uh, it's just uh, free, okay? That way. The, yeah. Okay. That hospital, you can see it's okay. huge. Okay. And uh, there is a Offner. Offner is the name of a coffee shop. Offner. And they have sweets and candies that's and Brazilian uh, brand. Brazilian okay. Brand. That's that's what we want to do. Yeah. You it's hear that? Wonderful. Not Starbucks. <laughs> it's not Starbucks, it's not but Starbucks. it's just in front. It's almost in front. That's a hospital right there. Yeah. Okay. You have. Uh, of course, you, to go inside the hospital, there is a, you have to present yourself, you sure. give your passport or oh, something, no, yeah, you have okay. to show. Okay. But you just say, I'm going to have the coffee. Okay. And uh, they... And any they, coffee shop here will do too, right? Like, it's just regular Brazilian coffee? Okay. You I'm ask just, for espresso or is, is maybe that? they have some choices, I don't remember. What's maybe you? they have the, some choices. Uh, Colombian and uh, Brazilian okay. and... Mm -hmm. Just any regular coffee. Any regular okay. coffee would be fine. Cool. Yeah, let's come here for the experience. And uh, they have a cheese. Uh, cheese. Cheese. Okay. Is it yours? No. Okay. Thank okay. you so much. Um, okay. Thank you. Thank you so Thank much, you so miss. Much. Thank you. Yeah, have a great day. Have a good day. Bye. So far, we went into really friendly people. Dude, we should have took a picture with the Marcelo dude. I'm not going to lie, I was thinking about that. But, like, I don't know how a guy would, like, feel react want, yeah like first he wants us to give us directions but we want someone to get a picture but we could have i think he would have been friendly enough to say yes though he looked like the yeah. type all right next time yeah so so far we run into really friendly people we got marcelo guy that was there before who came out of nowhere with, uh, with directions we needed right and then he was there chatting us up but he only spoke portuguese barely spoke english but i think he was taking the opportunity to socialize and this you know that's how you improve right. language yeah but so he, earlier we met Marcelo, yeah so showing really nothing but love here, that showed us you know how to get to the observatory <laughs> really friendly exactly so, so uh, first day so Brazil, yeah no we're yeah. really nice so this is a good sign so yeah. yeah and then we were talking and i was making fun of myself that we came all to brazil to get starbucks coffee and, yes. and some lady that you saw heard us and she was like I speak English, do you guys need help with something? And we yeah, yeah. proceed to banter about coffee. Yeah, so, far we've seen yeah, that. so exactly. We don't get that kind of stuff in New York. Like, if we were doing that in New York, they're just like, they wouldn't offer any help of any sorts. So I think it's amazing. Um, you know, we literally probably spent like an hour out of the hotel and walked around these streets and foreigners. But yeah, people are trying to help us out. So that's always a good experience when it comes to traveling, friendly people. The place might not be the best looking, but if the people are warm and friendly, that makes the place like 
so much better, right? You can have the most beautiful place in the world, but the people are nasty and unfriendly, then that place is completely, you know, like I have no desire to go back. So just want to put that on record. And now we're going to get our Uber. We're going to head over to Sampa Sky, which is observatory. Hey guys, so uh, we went over to, um, the, what's it called? Sky, Sky Palma? Yeah, we can't remember the name. Uh, but they were sold out for the tickets. What it is is observatory, and uh, they were sold out for the tickets for today. So then, um, <clears throat> we took the Uber here. By the way, this is, I think this is it. This is, uh, what, you really don't know what the name's called? Scampa Sky, jeez. All right, so it's just call Scampa Sky. They were sold out tickets today. They were sold out tickets today, and um, we took the Uber here. But then before we got out of the Uber, the Uber driver actually warned us that, you know, he didn't really speak, he didn't really speak English, but he warned us, um, he warned us that we shouldn't come out with our cell phones here. And he literally made a gesture that someone will come right up to you and pull it right out of your hand. He said this area is peligroso, which is dangerous. And to listen to his rules, I'm actually recording with a GoPro, right? So I'm not really following his directions because GoPro is still electronic. I can tell you that the people around here look really sketched though. I can tell you people around here look really sketched. So I just wanted to record this part quickly. I think it's time for me to put the GoPro away. Yeah, I wanted to say that um, across the street looks like a more posh, well not posh, but it looks like a mall, but then right across the street was the church we're at where there's a lot of homeless people, a lot of sketch looking people around. It just looks kind of like run down this area. Not trying to knock anybody or anything, but it just doesn't look like the best area. So it's funny because normally the nice places or the tourist places are kept in the safe area. Um, in all the Latin American cities we've been, like Lima, Miro Flores, uh, Mexico City. But over here, it looks like you have your nice tourist places in the sketch neighborhood. Like, there's not really a boundary that's keeping them apart. Like, you might be going to, like, the observatory, but right across the street, it's like a lot of homeless people and sketch looking. So, there's one thing I noticed here about Sao Paulo. 